welcome students today in this video we are going to discuss a very interesting topic circle you might have studied about the circle even in lower classes but in this video we are going to discuss this topic at the level of standard 10 so let us start this video with introduction of a circle first, first of all let us try to define circle how we can define it? Circle is a locus of a movable point P which moves such that it is equidistant from a given point. Suppose given point is O here and P is any movable point. So circle is locus of this movable point. What is locus? Locus is a path traced out by a point which moves under a certain geometrical condition that is called locus correct so circle is the locus of a movable point let us say p which moves such that it is equidistant from a given point o here o is given point and p is movable point and the distance between these two points is op so p will move in such a way such that this distance from these two points will always remain same, correct? So this point P can move in such a way, correct? Then collection of these points or locus of this point P is known as circle, correct? Or in a very simple way, uh, we can define circle as collection of point which are equidistant from a given point O is known as a circle. That is a continuous collection, correct? So clearly you understand here OP is a circle. And there are some uh, few terms about this topic like chord, secant, tangent these are some terms that we should know in this chapter circle so let us make it clear by a simple diagram okay if in any given circle if any line suppose pq which is not intersecting at real points to the circle then this is known as non-intersecting line. Here PQ in this case, suppose center O is here. In this case, this line segment PQ is known as a non-intersecting line. Here PQ is non-intersecting lines. Now let us discuss about intersecting lines so there will be two different cases of intersecting lines one line will be like this which intersects the circle at only one point suppose this line pq intersects the circle at any point suppose t and in another case suppose this line PQ intersects the given circle at two different points, suppose A and B, correct? So in this case, this line PQ is known as secant. This line PQ is known as secant to this circle, correct? And if this line terminates at point A and B only, if there is uh, no extension outside the circle, then this will be like this. Suppose AB, there is no extension of this line outside the circle. I mean, these two points intersecting the circle are lying on the circumference of a circle then this line AB line segment AB is known as chord of the circle correct and here in this case 
when a line PQ intersects a circle at only one point, or you can say that it touches the circle only at only one point, then this line segment is known as tangent. So these are very simple terms, odd, secant, tangent, etc. Correct. These are very simple basic concepts about the circle and these line segments. Now, let us see a very interesting theorem. Now, let us try to understand this theorem here. This theorem, correct? Here, theorem is if any circle with center O touches a line segment suppose PQ at any point suppose A then the line segment joining O and A will be perpendicular to the tangent PQ. Here we have to prove that the line segment joining center of the circle center of the circle and the point of contact with the tangent I mean radius here this is nothing but radius is perpendicular to the tangent. Let us try to prove this theorem. Correct? It can be proved very easily. Suppose we are taking any point B here outside the circle. So you can write proof of this theorem like this. Let B be a point on PQ outside the circle. Correct? So, it is very obvious that if this point B is lying outside, then if you join OB, then definitely here, here OB is greater than OA. Why? Because this point A is on the circle, on the circumference of the circle and point B is outside the circle. So obviously this will be longer, OB will be longer than OA, correct? Similarly, if you take the position of this point B at different places, suppose you take this position outside the circle or you take the position of B here outside the circle, in each and every case, this line segment OB will be longer than OA. What does it mean? What we can conclude? So we can conclude that OA is the shortest distance. That is, OA is the shortest, shortest distance between between center of the circle center of the circle and the tangent PQ and we know that shortest distance is always perpendicular it means that this will be perpendicular that is the radius OA is perpendicular on the tangent PQ root. So we can understand it very easily. We can prove it very easily. Correct? Now let us see a very interesting example or question you can say from the same topic circle. So now let us see this question. A tangent PQ at a point P of a circle 
of radius 5 cm meets a line through O at a point Q. O is center of the circle. Correct? O at a point Q so that OQ is equal to 12 cm. Find the length of PQ. So let us make a simple diagram to understand this question. Suppose this is a circle. Correct? And point P is here and this is a tangent and center O is here. Here given that radius of the circle is 5 cm, this distance is 5 cm and this tangent to the circle intersects a line at point Q and the line is passing through O. So, like this. Suppose point Q is here. So, this tangent is intersecting this line at Q. And the distance of or length of this line OQ is given here. This is 12 cm. So, we have to find out the length of PQ. Correct? So, as we have discussed in the previous theorem, this radius makes an angle of 90 degree with this tangent. Radius is perpendicular to the tangent. So, this triangle OPQ is a right angle triangle. In triangle, in right angle triangle OPQ, we are using here Pythagoras theorem. So, PQ square is equal to OQ is hypotenuse, the side, longest side or the side perpendicular or the side opposite to the 90 degree. So, PQ square is equal to OQ square minus OP square. And OQ square means 12 square and OP square means 5 square. This is 144, this is 25, this is equal to 119. So we are getting here PQ square is equal to 119 and therefore PQ is equal to how much? Root over 119 cm. This is the answer, length of PQ. So these are very basic concepts of the circle and in the next video we will discuss a very important topic that will be tangent to a circle. So I hope you have understood it very well and uh, you can understand uh, next video also uh, on the basis of this basic concept of the circle. So you please subscribe my channel so that you could get the notification of the next video. Thank you very much for watching this video. Wish you all the best.